Hi friends, happy Monday. Welcome back to math today. Today for math, you will need from your Envision workbook, pages 287 and 288, and also pages 289 and 290. With that, you will need a pencil and a blue and green crayon. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. Today, before we look at our learning target, we're gonna practice some of our math skills that we've been working on throughout the year. So let's take a look at our number line resource. But today I want you to notice something different. My whiteboard is not long, 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 long. So I couldn't fit a very long number line on here. I just fit numbers zero through 20 that we've been practicing. But we are gonna start practicing counting all the way up to 30 so that we can also practice counting backwards from 30. So this week we'll practice counting to 30 most days and then towards the end of the week we'll start practicing counting backwards from 30. So as always we know our number line starts in kindergarten with the number zero. This is where we practice looking at our numbers in order or in sequence. Let's start counting though at the number one. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I put the rest down here. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30. Very good job. So as we keep counting more and more, we should notice a number pattern. Our numbers keep getting bigger. And every time we hit a decade number, which is a number that ends in zero, we start back in the ones place with one. And we'll talk about what that means more as our year goes on. So today, we're gonna continue practicing before looking at our learning target, practicing naming our numbers. Let's start with our first number six. Ready, here we go. Six, five, two, four, one, three, 16, 20, 19, 13, nine, 11, 12, 14, 10, 8, 17, 18, 7, 15. Very good job. So those numbers were out of order, whereas the numbers on our number line are in order or in sequence. Okay, so now let's take a look at our learning target. Our learning target says, I can show numbers in many ways. So we're gonna practice putting groups together to show how we can make bigger numbers and make them putting different groups together. So once we start adding, which is what we're doing now, you'll understand what that means. On the board, I have different shapes. I have triangles and circles. In the first row, I have one, two green triangles and one, two, three red circles. So when I put those two groups together, I wanna to see how many shapes in this row I have all together. So let's count as I mark out, ready? One, two, three, four, five. So two add three equals five. When you put a group of two together and a group of three all together, there are five. Let's go down to the next problem. I have three, green triangles in one circle. So I wanna see how many I have all together in this row. So again, let's count as I mark out. We have one, two, three, four. So four, I mean, so three triangles add one more shape equals four shapes all together, okay? So we're gonna to practice today showing how we put those groups together to make a larger group. When we do that, that is called adding. We've talked about this a little bit before Christmas time. We saw our addition symbol and we, we learned our adding song. So 
Let's take out our hands. We know on each hand we have a group of five fingers. When we put those fingers together, how many do we have all together? 10. So we're going to move our hands while we sing to show that we know those groups when they're added together make a bigger number. But we're also going to say at the end that when we add with a zero, our number stays the same, which means if I have three fingers and I don't add any more to it, I still have three fingers sticking up. Or if I have one finger and I don't add any more to it to stick up, I still just have one finger. So let's sing our song. Ready? Here we go. Adding means putting groups together. Adding means putting groups together. Adding means putting groups together to make them bigger than before. When we add, our number gets bigger, except when we add with zero, then our number stays the same, okay? So let's take a look at our solvent share for today. On our solvent share, we see Carlos has a thinking bubble. It tells us that Carlos holds up two flowers in one hand and three flowers in another hand. It wants us to think about how many flowers he has all together. So let's, with our pencils, count out how many he has in his first group. Let's count. One, two. Okay. Now let's count how many in his other hand, the purple flowers. One, two, three. So now they're showing us in our picture he has two pink and three purple. Now let's count out the fingers. We're going to have to mark really small to see how many there are all together. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So all together, how many flowers does he have? Five. Let's show that on our fingers too. We have two pink and three purple. Bring your groups together and let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to circle the five to show we know he has five all together. Now let's go ahead and flip to the back. On the back, it tells us that we're going to listen to a story and then we're going to find how many there are all together at the end of the story. So let's see. It says, Parker has two orange crayons. He also has three purple crayons. How many crayons does he have all together? Well, let's clap how many orange crayons he, he has. It says, Parker has two orange crayons. So let's clap. One, two. Okay. And it says he has three purple crayons. So let's knock three times. One, two, three. Now let's listen how many claps and knocks we have all together. One, two, three, four, five. So all together, how many crayons does he have? Five. We see they colored two orange and three purple. They already wrote two for our orange group and a three for the purple. So it says two and three. When you put those together is five in all. So let's trace our five. Straight line down, halfway around, Add on top, five is found. Okay, so this sentence says two and three is five in all. That means when you put those together, you have five all together. Okay, so on your next page, page 289, this is the page that you're going to post to your teacher's Google Classroom. It already gives you the beginning of the sentence. All you have to do is figure out how many there are all together but we'll come back to that in just a minute. I want you to flip now to page 290, the back, with one problem and then our challenger. On page 290, we see some erasers, okay? So it says we are going to listen to a story and then figure out how many erasers this person has all together. So the story says, Junie has five erasers in one of her pockets. She has two erasers in her other pocket. How many erasers does she have all together? Okay, so let's start with her first group of erasers. Let's use our green crayon to show how many she has. How many does she have in her first pocket? 
five. Let's color five. Since it's math and we're just showing quickly with the colors, we don't have to take our time framing and coloring, which is a good practice, but we just want to count five in color. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Make sure you're coloring one at a time and not scribbling across. So we see she has five in one pocket. How many in the other? Two. So let's switch to our blue and let's color the two that are left blue. One, two. Now let's switch to our pencil. I'm going to use marker again so you can see. And let's see how many erasers she has all together. Let's count how many green and blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five and two is seven in all. So let's write our seven across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. So we just added five and two together. Now the challenger at the bottom says, Miguel has nine erasers. He gives some to Aaron. He also gives some to Bella. How many does he give to each friend? Okay, so this time it's our choice to break the group of nine erasers into two so that Miguel can give some to one of his friends and some erasers to his other friend. So let's start with our green again. Let's color three green erasers starting on the left. One, two, three. So we just flip this. So we have nine erasers all together. He just gave three to one of his friends. So let's write a three on our first line. Now let's see how many he had left to give to his other friend. Let's take our blue and color the rest while we count. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Ooh. So how many blue erasers did we color? Six. So let's write a six on the other line. So now it says nine is three and six. So we have nine all together. And you can break nine apart into two groups. You can make a group of three and a group of six, but still have nine all together. This is just getting our brains starting to think about what adding is and putting groups together. Let's go ahead and flip back to page 289. We're going to do the same thing on 289 that we did at the top of the back page. So on page 289, number two says that Cammie has three green crayons and one blue crayon. How many does she have all together? So the first thing you're going to do is color your crayons to match three green and one blue. Okay. So now they have this sentence started for you. Three and one is blank in all. So then you also need to figure out when you have a group of three green and one blue, how many crayons is that all together? Write that number on the line. Okay. Then down at the bottom, your story says, Sammy has a one brown crayon and five purple crayons. How many crayons does he have in all? Okay, so down here, I'm going to change it to a little bit since we have a green and a blue crayon. So let's say Sammy has one green crayon and five blue crayons. How many crayons does he have in all? So one green, I'll go ahead and get you started on that one since I confused you with the directions a little. And then the rest are blue. Okay, so make sure to color those in. And then on the line, you're going to write how many there are all together. Okay, keep up the great work, friends. This week, we're going to do a lot of adding and putting groups together to get our brains ready for understanding what numbers are a little more. And we're also going to practice counting to 30 and counting backwards from 30 every day. So come ready to learn. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you tomorrow.